Okay, doing a voiceover on this one or at least partial because that air compressor is so loud in there. Putting 38 PSI in that pressure tank. It was down at 24. Checking power to make sure we're not going to get electrocuted. We're replacing the pressure switch. So it's just unwired this bad boy, right? Just pull, pull all the screws off. Uh, pull the wiring out. Sometimes it can be a little bugger with those lock nuts. But just pull it on out there. Uh, unthreading it here. I was lucky. It just came right out of the tank tee. Now I'm putting new Teflon and dope on the brass nipple. And it's really important that we use brass now. Because that was the whole issue here with this particular pressure switch it was a galvanized nipple and it was completely uh, corroded so it wasn't reading the pressures correctly so we're just threading in the new pressure switch that's a 4060 pressure switch kind of pulling the top off there I'm looking at the wiring right now because sometimes the wiring can be really tight and it's really important that you get that twisted just in the right spot so um, I'm going to restrip these, put a little twisties on the end. Now, I say black, black, white, white, right? You have two 120 leads coming from your panel or your disconnect. So you're going to put, and that's what a pressure switch is. It's just, it's, um, it's transferring that power to your control box. So just remember, go white, white, black, black. So the two whites are going to be on one side. The two blacks are going to be on the other side. Because when those contacts close, it just allows that 120 to jump through that contact and into the other side and up to the control box there. All right, so resetting the lock nuts here and just, you know, just putting the terminals there on the pressure switch. Now I'm going to transfer over to the, the sound of the video here. There's our problem. Look at that. These galvanized nipples killed because they just crowed over. There's no way this was reading the pressure through this pipe. It's completely clogged. Wow. Completely clogged 100%. So the pump was just staying on 24 7. So that's verification. Okay, white, white, black, black. Nice. Nice, nice. Got a new pressure switch. We put the appropriate amount of air in the pressure tank 38 psi. Pump is on. We're just going to watch it build pressure, and that brand new pressure switch should open contacts at 60. Really close to 60. Now watch these contacts right here. These contacts are going to open up here any second, right here. Boom. So that's a brand new pressure switch reading beautifully correctly. Opened up because it reached 60 psi. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And we have an outside hose bib open up. So now, the water level is about right here. This is air, this is water. Air, water. So this air is now pushing this water out. And as that 60 PSI compressed air zone stretches out and goes less and less and less, when it reaches 40, because it pushed the, the water out and that air zone is stretching out, when this hits 40, these are gonna close. We're at 46, 45, 43, 42, now, now watch, here any second right now, boom, they just closed. Now the pump is turned on. Now the pump is on, trying to keep up with the demand right now. We're going to go ahead and close this. So there is no demand. So now the water, the pump, is literally just pumping this pressure tank full of water. Air compresses, water doesn't. So that water is now compressing this air zone. Air compresses water doesn't. And as soon as there's enough water in there, displacing the air, compressing the air, as soon as it reaches 60 psi, those contacts will open up and we verify that that pressure switch is working correctly. Pump on at 40, pump off at 60. 40, 60 switch. It's a 40, 60 switch. So if you look in here, it says it right there. Pump on at 40, pump off at 60.